How's it going, you fly foxes? And welcome back to the forest of drizzling rain with the two tailed vixen. Now we should be reaching a conclusion here. Feels like it at any rate. So if this is a short one, I'm just going to toss in all the other endings. I believe. I'm not sure how many there are, but I imagine there's a few considering we went and got a stone, and I imagine you can continue on without the stone. So I imagine there's at least minimum or maybe like two or three but even if I go back there is no path this way what's there now right this way then so I guess we're just gonna high tail it out of here we got Suda with us speak of the devil Suda yes if we were to get out of this forest, what about your voice, Suga? Suga, your voice. Can't we get it back somehow? Don't worry about it. Oh. I'm pretty sure by this point he could care less about getting his voice back. He's had it gone for so long. I think that's the least of his concerns. What is it? protective charms. Ah, how about that? Well, actually, while in the forest, one of them snapped each time I encountered something strange, so they all broken. I'm sorry, even though you did so much handing them to me. That's what those protective charms are for. Speaking of Lipsuga, that's sort of yours. I get the feeling they're slightly shiny, but... Is that also made of Nyclo stone? Nah. <laughs> Did you make that, Suga? And could you have made that necklace too? Amazing, Suga. You became, as you said, in the past. Oh, you're a little bit embarrassed. Even the Nyclo stone has a limit. The sword is almost done. Let's hurry on ahead. Alright, let's get the F out. Give us freedom. Suga? What's wrong? Is it painful, your throat? It's my fault. Quick, if we don't get out of here, Suga, you'll also... That is a vase of sheer anger, if I have ever seen one. Suga! There was definitely an underground path that was connected to the realm, the lower path. Okay, this way! I'm playing a Suga, feels kind of weird. Nightclub stone has decayed. So in other words, it's not going to last very long, is it? Alright, so... Do we just climb the... F what the hell? The water has risen due to the rain. Suka, it starts, so it'd be reckless to swim further in. Let's look to see if there's another path. Fine! There is a ladder. A wooden ladder. Yeah, let's take it. But this ladder is being held by a rope. Yeah, I was just gonna say, it's a fucking sword. Are you able to cut it with the sword? It's a sword. I sure hope it can cut a goddamn rope. Obtain the ladder. Yay! And what do I need a ladder for? Can I use it to get over here? It looks like it's crossed. Oh yay, we can! Ta-da! It's locked. What? 
fine. Oh, this one's open. What the fuck is you? A pedestal made of rock. Mm. So many doors underground. I don't know. Oh, we can go in. A lamp. Um, you. Full of documents. Nice. Oh, why is it that ancestors agree with this man's deed? Deceive. In order to entrap one woman he fell in love with just for that purpose, deceive the people of the village. Smear lust, unmistakable, close above. A loved woman had her husband, child, and child in her belly killed and was made to live her entire life in prison as a plaything. Oh. Holy first with the prison stone, social protection. Mayor rather perhaps was I. So everything was possible over here, okay? Difficult to decipher them, they stuck together so much, the pages don't flip. Why are they so tightly stuck together like that? I don't know. Okay, is there nothing here? Oh, there's light, can we get out? Apparently some light leaks in from above. Could this place be connected to the outside? Well, it could be. Get a rope! Hoist it, grab that ladder! Then I'll need to do something to get us out of here. But the ceiling is quite high. I'll need to call for help. Do it. Scream. Go grab the ladder. That could help. There's no use just worrying over this. Let's try calling for help right now. Don't be so sad. It's something. It'll be alright. You don't have to worry because I have a big voice in my throat. It's fine. Don't rub it in, Chiori. That's kind of rude. Someone, is someone there? If someone's there, please, please respond. Someone, someone, someone. Is anyone there? We're not getting an answer. Please don't look like that. That's very scary. It'll be alright. Hey, we can't just give up here. That's the attitude. No giving up. Um, Suga, you don't need to make such an agonized face. After all, Suga, all until now, you've always protected various people from the spirit, right? If so, then it will be alright. Surely we'll be able to return safely today, too. It'll be alright, because Suga, when you were scared and crying, I also made a promise to protect you, Suga. Oh, he feels a little bit better now. Alright, if it's decided like that, I'll need to raise a larger voice. You better do it fast! Neko's son outside broke! But this voice is surely of the spirit like those children! Suga, no, don't do it! Suga! Oh, you're so determined. You can't go that way. Even if it's not the Katorial bucket, the spirit of those children have come in. Uh. Is this a necklace stone? You want me to take it? Oh, that big, that big, big stone. The charm of purification stone. You can't, hey Suga, by giving this to me, what do you intend to do? No. Bad Suga. No, you take it with you. You need it. This, you should have it, Suga. Don't you dare. I will smack you, Suga. I can't accept it. I don't want to turn Suga into a victim any more than this. The forest is calling. Is calling me. You don't need to become the victim, Suga. 
Hey, Suga. Why did you live for so many years in this museum where there's nobody anymore? Why did you just simply try to chase me away once you knew who I was? Why did you, when I said I wanted to know about my dead parents, allow me to stay there? Suga, you've been always, always trying to keep that promise, haven't you? It might not have been for my sake, but if it was, then... Please stop it. Let the promise be no more. Because I, I want to protect you, Suga. Oh, <laughs> you better not fucking die, Suga. I swear to God. So, Suga, take the stone with you. Understood. I will take the stone with me. Good. Thank God. Good job, Shiori. But while I take the stone and go over to the other side, you will stay here. Because I'll come back for sure. You better, Suga. You f Understood. During this time, I'll be calling for help, so just don't do anything reckless. You must absolutely come back. Because it's a promise. Aww, that's the first time you've smiled, Suga! You fucking die now. I'm gonna have your head. If you die, I'm gonna come and kill you again. I will find a way. Alright, let's start hollering at people. There we go, that's some yelling. Help! Please, we're here and we can't get out. Someone, someone, we're in danger. Please, someone, please find us. Oni-san, are you there? Oni-san, as I thought, you were here. Sakuma. Hey, are you alright? I don't know. Offer some more Shiziki too. Ah, okay, please help me out of here. Yes, get me out. Understood, just wait a little right now. I'm bringing something you can climb. Make it snappy. Good, with this, we can get out of here. But Suga is still... Suga! Ah, oh, great, you're all right. You see, Sakuma and Officer Mochiziki have noticed that we're here. It's all right now. Suga? Ah, oh, he smiled! Thank God, if you fucking died, Suga, I was gonna be so... Pissed. Quickly get up from there, you guys. On it. Don't have to tell me twice. Just deal with fucking shit. And then I was able to safely exit from the forest, that place underground. Sakuma cried out like a dog just as she saw me, and Officer Mochizuki made a bitter smile as a feeling relieved. Perhaps because Suka also came to relax a little, he also let out a laugh with an expression blurred by fatigue. And I certainly cut the strung up string of tension and only remembered abruptly collapsing right there. Whatever the case, I think it was truly great we were able to get out of the forest. Sakuma and Suga were all right. I was happy about that above all else. The next day, Suga and Sakuma told me very sternly to go back. The Katori Obake is still looking for you, Oni-san. Sakuma, who said that with quite a serious face, had a terribly sad expression, but I was a little he hesitant to say anything. It was because there was something I was anxious about. Of course, it was about Suga. As for me, who remembered everything in the past, my promise to Suga was quite precious. At least for just him. There's no way I could let him be the victim and suffer. I think he might can go back in honest good judgment. As I was like that, Suga smiled just a little and softly wrote a memo for me. Once the force has calmed down, it'll be fine for you to come again. Because in that time, I will contact you. Words written on that pretty letter that he wrote look sincere in all respects. To my question of really, he nodded several times so I could only swallow those words. And so I...
decided to return at least once, eventually. So now I'll be returning back home. It's painful when I think that actually it's tiresome only for you, Suga, but... <laughs> Understood. Sakuma also said that. But once it calms down, you absolutely contact me, right? I have still not properly made any thanks. I am truly thankful, Suga, and I am glad I remembered that promise. And I'll be going now, because it's just about time the train comes. Suga? Oh, you bitch. Is that the night stone you had at the time, Suga? He's trying to erase your memory, Shiori! Don't you remember? Eh, uh, wait, what? Wait, just wait, Suga. Hey, wait, just... Suga, I don't want to forget anymore. Damn it, Suga. I hear the sound of the train. Thinking this is strange, I opened my eyes. When I did so, I was surprised from the bottom of my heart that I was actually riding a train. This train I'd never seen before. It merely... Merely running past places I've never seen before. How strange. I don't remember ever riding in such a train. Why am I riding a train in the first place? I tried searching my memory, but I couldn't remember anything. In any case, I asked the ticket inspector around the conductor whether this train stops at the station at my home. Doing so, it seems as if the train is running on a line far from town where I live, and that it would need to change the train several times. More and more, I don't know what's going on anymore, and my head puzzled over it. In the end, I wasn't able to remember anything. Ah, uh, in any case, I need to get back home. Once back at home, let's just sleep for the time being. Tomorrow I'll need to visit my parents' grave. Even though I've surely been visiting the graves almost every day, I somehow get the feeling I haven't visited for a while. While thinking those wandering thoughts in order to escape from this unusual affair, I continued glazing. Glazing? Hmm. I just, I just want a glazed donut, man. Gazing at the flowery scene until the station of my next switch. It's just as if someone, something precious has gone completely missing. I get the feeling that it is something I definitely shouldn't have forgotten. Or have I ever ended up losing such a thing? Before I knew it, my cheeks had become wet with tears. of it. Damn it, Suka! Why? Had to take away my memory, you bastard. Is that really necessary? Kinda catchy jams. Got a decently good ending. Ending number two. The Vanished Promise. Oh. That sounds kind of sad. Alright. So I'm going to look up all the other endings. And I will be RB. I am back. Now, I'm going to do the endings kind of in the worst order to better order, excluding the ending I got on my own, which was ending number two, which was the second best ending, I guess. So this one is the worst ending. You may remember how I got to go get that big ass stone in Suga's workshop. In this one, you don't have the stone. And so I can just imagine how shit is going to go terribly wrong.
Oh, that can't be. It came in. Zuga! No, no. Right now, you can't go that way. No, you can't go. <laughs> Suka, wait, no, you can't. <laughs> the door's been fixed in place, so it won't open. No, no good, this is all no. Please, no, Suka, for me to... I need, I need to call for help. Quick, quick, quick. Alright, get on it. Help. Help. Someone get us out. Oh. Someone, 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 someone. Oh, shit. Are you there? Hang in there. Right now I'll get you out of there. What happened to Suga? Hey, are you all right? Right after being rescued from the underground by Officer Mochizuki and Sukuma, I fainted. When I woke up, I was resting in the hospital bed at the city far from Asakawa village. It all felt so unreal, and I was so confused that the hospital didn't even consider discharging me. Surely you think I've lost my mind. It has already been close to two weeks past when I should have been discharged. From what I heard from Officer Mochizuki over the phone, Suga, who had been with me underground, has still not been found. Not even a corpse. We have just ended the search. I'm sorry, was that Officer Mochizuki said. The voice going through the phone shook with anger and confusion. Finally, time to hang up the phone. There was the voice of Sukuma, as if she had stolen the phone from Officer Mochizuki beside her. The stone has broken, and the Katori Obake is now able to come outside. So you absolutely cannot come to the village. Don't ever come again. Her voice for me carried on a sense of seriousness, but I hung up the phone right there. There was a voice. A voice calling me, as if it were eating into my head and to my heart. The inviting voice does not leave my head. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. Come, 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 come. Come, 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 come. Things you can say to your dog, but not your girlfriend. Come, 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 come. Come, 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 come. I threw away the medicine I received from the physician. I merely followed towards the direction of the voice. I don't even know if it's my own will anymore. Helplessly towards the direction of the voice. Betrayed her pleads and her promise. And how is he doing as of now? Is he resting alone within those arms? If I can be embraced too within those arms. I'm merely thinking that my chest cleanly, helplessly is filled with a sense of warmth. I need to go back to the repulsive place. And so now, I'm swaying in this train heading towards Azakawa village. The broken promise, the fulfilled promise, ending five. The worst ending. This should be ending number four, in which you do have the stone. It's just this time you don't give the stone to Suga, you hold on to the stone. There we are, so... Do you... Do you really need to give it to me? I understand. In exchange, don't go over there. We'll stay here together.
except at the night glow stone. Suga? Suga, wait! No, don't! The door has been fixed in place and won't open. No, don't! In the end, you can't just do this, Suga! After having given the night glow stone to me, how could you just go over there? Even though just before Suga told me that his serve was almost done! I need- I need to call for help. Quick! Quick, quick! If I don't help Suga, then... Help us! Somehow we're always in this situation. Oh, and it's blinking right again. Someone, 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 someone! Oh, but not the found you. Ha 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 ha! Are you there? Hang in there. Right now I'll get you out of there. Oh, that sounds very similar. Hmm? What happened to Suga? Hey, are you alright? I see. I'll come back and look first, please. Come. Please come up from there. Listen. You're coming up. Okay. Am I becoming erect? Is that what you mean? After that, Officer Mochizuki went to look for Suga, but he was nowhere to be found. In the cave, only the sword made of nightgown stone was found in a horribly twisted condition. After that, a search for him was performed in the village, but for some reason, it was immediately ended. I and Officer Mochizuki felt terribly angry at the village's heartless response, but... Immediately after that, he was found. It's unusual for someone who goes missing in the forest for their bodies to be found. I still clearly remember the words whispered by the people of the village at the time of the funeral. To me, while unable to leave the small box where he was laid, no matter how many days passed, Sakuma said thus, The Katoria Obake is still looking for you, Oni-san. Quick, leave this village before you get caught to somewhere far away. And then forget, forget it all, everything about what happened in the forest, in this village. The Nyko stone that you have, Oni-san, wishes to protect you. The voice of the Katori Obaki and the voice of that stone, I can hear them both, so... Please, grant the wish of that stone, grant the wish of the manager. Well, after that, I return back home. Now I can no longer see him anymore, and so I needed to forget everything that happened in the forest and in the village. Thinking that, I passed my days. But, one day, of rain, suddenly, there are times when the repulsive voice I heard in the forest would graze my ear. Come, come, come. In those times, I tightly grasped the necklace stone I accepted from Suga. In doing so, the voice mysteriously received, proceeded, I am being protected. Even in death, Suga is protecting me. He promised that he could and protected to the end. Each time I feel that something heavy and cold and hurt, mercilessly would weigh upon my chest. His everything has been taken away. Will I, for my entire life, be holding this in my chest? Never from now on without end. Etched in my memory was his appearance the last time I ever saw him. Ending 4. The promise he kept. It's kind of a pretty picture. I'll give it that. Okay, it's this one. Sorry. This is the one with the pages. They don't flip. If we flip the pages, it might tear. You gotta sit here and spam it. One does one to write. We shall try turning the pages now. Yes. There's a cavity in it and it's been hollowed out. There's a key. We got the key. Okay, for this ending, it's gonna be ending number three. And in this one, you don't have the stone. Let's go in. Okay. Only 
really read was where the key is. From here on out, I'm gonna have to figure it out. To book it. Lovely. Probably. Nice masks. Ooh, something important. Casket. Uh, to destroy everything. And tiny fragment. We got a milky white fragment, right? Investigated blood. On family. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. It's this way. Echo stone. Ooh. Floor there is packed with some writing on it. A Buddhist sutra. What is it praying to? This be a casket, or what could be? Oh, yeah. Can I not take it? Oh. Yes. Watch the milky white fragment. I guess. Purified the small fragment. Yay! Now we hook it in there. Yeah. And I'll put it in. <coughs> Hello? Hey, it's you. I like you. Thank you. But this I can finally get out. So please, take me along. Let me meet my dear mother. Surely, surely, surely. Mother's looking for me. You're so cute. <laughs> I kid just now. I know him. I met him in the forest when I was little. I see, so this kid was always here in order to meet his mother. Yes. Let's take it along because there's definitely a stone pedestal on the lower path. You don't mind, right, Suga? Mm, I guess not. Except he's probably just like, fuck, I'm gonna have to carry that. Damn this woman. Alright, tally ho. Right here. As for pedestal, would be fine here. Ta-da! Perhaps it's okay like this? Do I just leave? Ah, yes, sir. That sound just now. Could it be that the night glowstone outside just broke? Suga! Little boy, 
my little boy? Little boy, little boy, my little boy. My cute, cute little boy. I finally, finally, finally. Finally found you, my little boy. It must have been agonizing. It must have been painful. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Mother. My dear mother. Let's go back together. We'll always be together from now on. Shiori, take Suga's hand. It's a touching moment. They finally met, haven't they? The mother and the child. Let's take our chance to go now. Surely the Katori Obake is alright now. children look at the curatorial bucket book. We won't let you go anywhere. Because the one who killed us is mother, isn't it? But that's all. No. <laughs> was a horror show. Oh, uh, why? Where are you going? Even though you should be together with us, our own chan The children are calling me. Oh, they're trying to get in. Oh. Scary, scary, scary. It would have been better if you didn't exist. You're scary, scary, scary. Give us, give us, give us. You're in the way, in the way. Hey, is someone there? That voice, it's off of Chomochuziki. Suga, let's go. Run! Get the fuck out! Next, it opens in the ceiling. Hey, we're here. Only said as I thought you were here. Offer some Ziki. Quick, get those two up. Yes. Hurry. Don't hurry. Only Chan will be in danger. Okay. <laughs> I don't really understand you, Sakuma. How do you know so much? You were safely able to escape from the forest. However, no matter how much time passed, the voices of those children continued echoing in my ear. Different from the Katori Obake, they were purely cruel voices that chased after my ears and my heart. And that time, Sukuma said, This time the children are calling for you, Oni-san, saying that they want you constantly from inside the forest, calling for you. But the children are afraid of the manager, so they don't come out from the forest. Yet Sakuma's completely pale face as she said that, I couldn't think of it as a lie. And so, when the questioning concerning the circumstances of this incident was over, I made a new promise with Suga, never to come close to this village again. This new promise. That person, in order to ensure that the spirit of the children will not go out, will continue to always be at that mansion from now on. And thus, I cannot come near that place. No matter how much I say no, please no, Suga will not listen. 
is the right, because it's no different from everything up till now. He wrote only that in a memo, and did not respond anymore. I was still feeling helpless and suffocating. I've arrived on the road home. The memories of what happened in this village, and in the forest, and about Suga, I will definitely not forget. However much I miss, or lament, there's no visiting that village for me ever again. However, in order for him, left at the museum all alone, to at least spend his days in peace, there is nothing I can do for that but hope and pray. Winning <laughs> through the promised guardian. Ooh. The promises guardian. Right, here we go. This is for the good ending and the f only one I have left. So you have the stone and you put that thing on the pedestal. And away we go. <laughs> Just broke. Yep. What kind of shit show's gonna happen now? Suga! Don't do it! That kid. Mummy, Mama, Mother. It's kind of fucked up when you think of the story. That someone was lustful for her and had her like trapped. Like a spirit to keep her around, and the reason why she became a vengeful spirit is because they killed her child and the child in her belly, and so she started searching for her lost children. And so, when children wandered in the forest, she ended up taking them. And because those children were not her children, all those children got angry. Like, God, this is a weird story. Hope this ending is worth it. She already helped tell you again. Hold Suga's head. Don't you know how to make the move? I don't care if it's kind of weird that you were in a life threatening situation. Here we go. Now what happens? So you say... <laughs> he won't let you go anywhere. will surely protect someone important for you. Please let me have that rock. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's all. It's all. All right now. It is all, it is all, all right now. You've protected everyone important to you. This rock that you made is surely you yourself, and so, and so, and so you see, you are already forgiven now. Look! 
look at that. We made it. It disappeared. Holy shit. It's all right now. Surely the child and mother can now properly be together from now on. He's crying. Hug him, Shiori. Give him a good old hug. Hey, is anyone there? Yes. Absomotuziki. Okay. We did it. We lived. We did it. Oni-san. Sakuma, so you were all right. Hey, are you guys all right? Yep, yep, we did it. Absomotuziki, I am all right. Um, Please help us out of here. Please. Please? Pretty please? We'd appreciate it. Huzzah! Onisa, oh, what a relief. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm alright, so don't cry, okay? It was because Avatar Mochuziki wouldn't listen to what I was saying that we ended up being slow to come to help. Because I was alright, even though you said you'd try saving Onisan first. That's because you've been fainted all this time. I couldn't just let you wander around some more. Well, it's alright. It's thanks to that that everyone was saved. However, what was that? What happened in the forest? I can still hardly believe it at all. Furthermore, I would have never thought that this place was connected to this mansion. Anyway, for now I'll make up a report for this, so you should all arrange to tell the same story. Okay. Alright, so I'll be taking Sakuma back to her home. I'll be writing the record on a later date, so I'll call you guys then. Sakuma, let's go quickly. Your parents are deeply worried and are waiting for you. Quickly now, because I'll be apologizing together with you. <laughs> I forgot to say this, Onisan, but the forest is all right now. Uh, because there's no presence nor any voices, they all have been cleanly purified. In fact, Oni-san, if you come here or even live here, you'll be alright. Right. Boom! <laughs> Suga, I, after Mochuziki's investigation ends, I'll be going back home, right? From then on, you should do whatever you want with this mansion, Suga. After all, my memories of my parents have returned. As Sakuma said, the forest has been purified and the promise with the Katori Obake is no more. And so, Suga, there's no need for you to be bound here anymore. Sorry for causing you so much trouble. We weren't able to get back your voice, Suga, but thank you. With this, I've fulfilled my promise with you, Suga, haven't I? For now, let's rest for today. For tomorrow, I'll need to do something about my inheritance paperwork, and also need to make preparations for going back. Suga? Hmm? Yes? Is your voice back? She yes we got his voice Suga your voice What is it Suga What He's super embarrassed What is it Suga Oh you have to write it you baby <laughs> Again, Memo? There's a lot I'd like to talk about. Oh, cute. Yeah. 
Me too. There's a lot I like to talk about, Suga. Oh, the music's different. Because we got the good ending. We've done it! It is done! It has been completed! Dear God, my shoulders! Stay with Suga Shiori! Just do it! Ending number one, the two's promise. How cute. And there we go. That is the end to the forest of the drizzling. To the forest of the drizzling rain. <laughs> the forest of drizzling rain. Sorry. I hope you guys did enjoy it. It was actually lots of fun to play. I love these things. Put some suggestions in the comments of some games you want me to try out. Or some games you think I'd be interested in. Or games you'd like to see. Fire away. But I hope to see you guys all in the next one. And until then, bye for now!